Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes Designed to Taste and See that the Lord is Good, James chapter 5, beginning in verse 14. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Now, oil was definitely used as medicine in those days, but it was also used as a symbol of the Holy Spirit. I believe God is saying when somebody is sick, have the pastors or the elders of the church anoint them with oil and pray to God for their healing. It's not magic. It's not superstitious. It is simply obedience to the word of God. Not everyone who has been anointed and prayed over has been healed. But I remember one child who was instantaneously healed of cancer, and it never returned. God did it in response to our obedience to his word. We anointed and we prayed. Verse 14, is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And verse 15, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. Faith is needed for answered prayer. We have to believe. And this is what I mean by faith, okay? I'm not saying pump yourself up by continually visualizing whatever it is you want or continually repeating what you want God to do to you. That's not faith. That's witchcraft. That's witchcraft. That's denying reality. Faith is this. It believes that God hears our prayers and that he is a God who answers prayer and that nothing is too difficult for him to do. That's faith. But faith is also leaving the answer to God. Faith is accepting whatever God says, whatever, however God answers that prayer, yes or no, or wait. Whatever the answer might be, faith says, that's okay, God, I trust you. That's biblical faith. But faith alone is not enough Prayer, like any other biblical teaching, needs to be understood in light of what the entire Bible says about it. And remember, God doesn't say all that he has to say on any subject in just one place. So we know that for prayer to be heard, one must have faith. We understand that. But the Bible also teaches that whoever is praying, whoever is praying must not have any unconfessed sins in their life. Because if they do, God's not hearing that prayer. And also, as we saw last week, we can't ask amiss in a purely selfish way. So prayer must line up with Scripture. And it also must be God's time, not just our desire. So when those things are in place, God says yes. And I know one thing, I'm not going to question God's word when he says, anoint and he will raise up the sick. And I'm not going to doubt the word of God if it doesn't happen, because God is much more complicated than me. And there's a lot more going on than I know about. I'm just going to do whatever I'm asked to do by God and leave the results to him and trust him and love him and serve him. If you would like to study all of the Bible with me, verse by verse, you can at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible, verse by verse, at thebibleversebyverse.com. To be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, pray for me and God's Word because that makes you immediately makes you a part of this ministry, and I thank you for that. Also, when you take a break from studying at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. Until next time, Michael Moret for Scripture Verse by Verse and Coffee Break. So long.